What is up guys? So today I'm gonna to be showing you my new car. Sadly, Big Booty Judy is uh, gone. She uh, got a little too rusty for me and I had to get rid of her. There was just really no point in me continuing to fix the rust to repair it. So I had a, I was forced to pick up a new shell. I got something pretty good. Ready? I got another Mustang. Of course, of course I got another Mustang because I have all of these parts for a Mustang. Why would I not? So, this is a 5.0 car. It's a 95 GTS. The guy before me put Cobra badges on it for some odd reason. Made a Fobra, a fake Cobra. But I'm assuming this car was pretty quick at one point in time. If it was a drag car, it has, uh, these appear to be like dash six AN lines up here for fuel rails. But yeah, like I said, it's a 5.0 car. So it has the 5.0 cross member, which could be a thing in the future. Um, so everything here, oh, I just saw something. The brake lines are cut. I have to make all new brake lines. Uh, it has ABS, so that's getting deleted. There's tons of stuff, like all the harness in here has to get taken out. This steering shaft, I was super excited to get because mine has a lot of play, and uh, lo and behold, so does this. But the paint on it is actually pretty good. That's just bird poop. But a lot of this can get fixed with a nice buff. This isn't gonna get fixed with a buff, but this has to get cut off. I actually have to end up cutting more wheel arch into this because of my angle kit. Obviously all this stuff has to go in it. Over here, it's got some really nice tinted windows. It has actual working side vents that go to the tires or brakes or however the fuck it works. Uh, there's no tank in it, so I actually am end up gonna end up doing a fuel cell, I think. The only rust on this whole car was right here. It's, it's still there, but it's gonna get cut out. It has the factory crash bars in the rear, so I'm just gonna build two bumpers and bash bars for it. There's no need for me to do any type of tube front for this because it's actually good. Like, there's no rust anywhere. Anything that is rusted, I'm gonna sand down and paint over. I probably should sand down the engine base and, and paint it. So it's kind of scratched up a little bit, but let's see, let's get in here. The guy left a lot of the interior in here, but not the seats, I don't care, because it doesn't get any seats for me. I have my own, but it smells really funny in here, I don't know why, it's probably mold. It has a gauge bezel here and a gauge bezel up top there, so that works out great, because that's where I'm gonna put my gauges. Put one here. Uh, that's just the, uh, don't worry about that. Wow, this thing has 204,000 miles. <laughs> Did not know this. Um, it's got some sweet pedals. This is a GTS car. It has a mock audio system. I didn't have that. Power everything. No sunroof. I don't even know if these came with sunroofs. But um, yeah, all this is going to get taken out. I'm going to build a, I'm building a full custom FD spec cage for it. The door's shut nice. This one actually has the spoiler delete plugs in it, which is awesome. Obviously I have that built 4.6, so I'm gonna use that. I have all my extra panels here, so my door's trunk, the rear bumper's going on it, but in case anything happens, I have replacements for it. And it's a, I could still actually get this paint, unlike my other one, I couldn't get the paint for it. These fenders, they're kind of shitty. It looks like they were painted by somebody that didn't really know what they were doing, but they're very orange peeling and you can really feel it. So I'm probably gonna end up maybe wet sanding them. I don't know if it's even worth it. I might just buff the whole car, call it a day, because it feels like 320 grit sandpaper. <laughs> but I need to pull this K member out, put my K member in. This sway bar comes out because I don't use a sway bar on the front. Clearly you can see the blue and yellow wire is used for um, different sending units for gauges, uh, which I will be running as well, so that works out there. I have to pull the dash out so I can change the interior harness, because I have to use my interior harness. That means even that fuse box has to change. <laughs> but if you come back in the back here, ugh, it has stainless steel braided fuel lines in the back with the fuel line still in it. So that's cool too, I guess. I'm gonna have to try and get that out, so I'll probably just end up replacing these. Because I'm going to probably just run AN if I'm running a fuel cell, it would make sense. Uh, but everything is uh, 
rust free for the most part, which is super nice. Hold on, my lens is a little shitty. Good enough. And most importantly, besides the penis on the glass, there is no cracks in this, none. So basically, I paid for this car for the price of a windshield that I would have to do to the other one. And it's rust free. But yeah, I need to put all this shit away somewhere and I don't know where any of it's gonna go. It kinda sucks, cause like, I can't even put like my seats in, nothing. I mean, I guess I could drop that K-member and put that in, but then I'll just still have another K-member on the ground so that it wouldn't, wouldn't really make a difference. Yeah, so this is the new car. I'm planning on doing, obviously, that FD spec cage, so it's gonna be a full cage. It's gonna have the halo bar, main hoop, the rear down bars that go to the struts with an X in them, uh, NASCAR style door bars, I think. I'm not sure what I wanna do yet. I might do an X. I'll have um, maybe a dash bar, I don't know. The intrusion bars in the front, I also wanna do so that if something happens and it stuffs the front of the car, my feet don't get crushed. Cause uh, that'd be that'd be nice. I'd like my feet, you know what I mean. But yeah, she ain't she ain't too bad. Pretty stout. I'm pretty stupid because I didn't bring my camera with me, which would have been great. You know, like we had a good road trip all the way down to Jersey. Me where was it? Milford, New Jersey, and uh, we had a really fun time three deep in the old F tree fitty. I'm glad I got this because now I'll. Now it literally just goes back together. I don't have to fab anything besides the cage and the bash bars. And even if I didn't want to, I don't have to, well, I guess a front. I don't have to do a rear, technically. I would like to for a jacking point, at least. I cut out the door bars in my old cage, so I don't know if I can use that for anything. It's kind of thick stuff. It's an inch and three quarter. I don't even know what the wall thickness is. It was an off the shelf Moroso cage that I got from work pre-bent and everything, but yeah, I have to do everything I did to my other car to this one. So up under the struts, towers here, these have to get cut and like pushed up in so that I could actually fit the coilovers in it and stuff. So um, this thing will be down to a bare shell soon. But this is just a quick little update on what's happening with the car. I'm really thinking if I should even use my 4.6 or if I should just try and get my money back for it and uh, buy a 5.0. Not having to change any harnesses would be amazing, but I know that's not gonna happen, so if anybody wants to buy a built top end 4.6, I know a guy. I literally have nothing to do here. Can't put my parts anywhere, I can't. Well, actually, I can probably wrap my headers. I'm gonna wrap my headers, I'll probably wrap my headers. That's it for today, guys. Sorry, it was a little short video. It's just an update since I literally have nothing going on right now. This car I plan to do like really, really good. Not really cutting corners unless I can, like with random little things, sure. But I'm gonna try and do like all top of the line stuff on this thing. Trying to make maybe June, May to be done because then I can start drifting. Evergreen doesn't start for me. Um. Actually, it might, when is it, May? I think it might be May, May or June. But my actual first event at Evergreen is gonna be like July 12th or something. Yeah, I hope to have this thing done, I'm gonna say by the middle of May. Don't know if that's gonna happen, but I still have a whole lot of time. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.